Hey, what's going on? Craig Garrett here with Ralph Rocco. We're in North Babylon. Ralph's yep. a big time Yankee fan. He's got a great collection downstairs. He's so busy curating his collection that here it is on the second day of March. He hasn't even taken down his Christmas decorations. <laughs> I don't think they're coming down anytime soon. They might be here for opening day for all I know. You can actually see is uh, Lorne Michaels. You can always say that Lorne Michaels photobombed you. Yes, and before Nichols photobombing was photobombing. How about that? <laughs> I can't believe I'm crying. Okay. It's all right, buddy. I went with my son. Okay. Like you said, that was a cathedral. Uh, I won't even joke around with you about the. Uh... <laughs> you can. I gotta get out of this crying mood. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Uh, things got pretty serious here. Uh, do we have commercials to cut? Do we even have a sponsor? Uh, if we do, can we cut to the sponsor now? Somebody, please. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. All good stuff here. Local base scallops. Peconic Bay. Best base scallops on the East Coast. That's the chowder clam, or the quahag, as they say in New England. A little smaller, cherry stone. All the way down to little necks. That's what you eat on the half shelf with a six pack of beer. That is salty and beautiful. Oh my god. And that is a really, really fresh clam. have great powers. Did you make this costume yourself? I did. I started on Wednesday night. Wow. Yeah. And you haven't finished it, clearly. Yeah, it's, do it's not done. So. I'd stop right there. <laughs> Hannah, you are dressed as who? Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony, but a warrior version. A warrior version? I always thought that uh, my Little Pony could have used a little more violence. How fortuitous that I should meet Aquaman today because I'm very interested in learning how to swim. Well, you know, I do a great breaststroke. All right, that's the scoop from the Big Apple Con. Had a great time at my first con. Can't wait for the next one. San Diego, we're on our way! Hello, folks, and welcome to Poker Ticket. I'm your host, Jack Yablonski. Coming to you tonight from Rocky Point, New York. That's right, folks. The center of the poker universe is not in Las Vegas. It's not in Atlantic City. It's not in Dubai. It's right here. Right in Mike Goldfarb's basement, as a matter of fact. Downstairs, 10 amateur poker players await. One of them is going to win a trip to the World Series of Poker. The $10,000 stake has been posted by the Screaming Tuna Restaurant. One of these nobodies is going to be a somebody. Let's meet the players. Come on. You're not going to go home empty-handed. They may have sent you packing, but you should pack a lunch. And brought to you by Johnson's Brown Paper Bags. This ought to help you. Ugh, Would a little baby. kiss make you feel better? Oh, Me too. Maybe. <laughs> Much appreciated. Back to the action. So listen up, folks. If you've got a basement, if you've got a pool full of people who can play poker, and you want to go to Las Vegas for the World Series of Poker, 